Hello folks, my name is Polar Stranger today. We're doing a top five video. I haven't done one in a while and I know it's been weeks since I did a video. I'm gonna try and use a day I can to make an animation. So, with that said, let's look at five spooky maps. Starting with Two Fort. Of course, Two Fort Event. We have a Two Fort Invasion. Why not a spooky Halloween Two Fort map? Look at this spooky pathway. My god. Very spooky. I quite like 2 Fort, and obviously, it's just cool when you can Halloween fire a current map. And it looks quite good. It has the added Dagru Keep feel with the Halloween ness. It really looks good, and I would love to see this be added into the game of Screen Fortress. Because why not? It's hilarious. Also, that's horrifying. Really, that is literally horrifying. Seeing that in the background. Any case, with number four, Null. This is a bit of an odd one, but it's a man versus machine, but the world is glitched out. I mean, this would fit kind of well for how we map, because it could also be things that are corrupted and glitchy, and very things out of wackiness. So I would love to see this type of glitchiness into Team Fortress 2. You'd be like, oh, what the hell's going on? My god, everything's glitchy. <gasps> oh no. Why is everything glitchy? Oh, it must be that wizard again. The wizard! He is. But still, it looks pretty damn awesome, and I quite like it. It's very creative, and just shows what you can do when you muck around with Team Fortress 2. But at number three, we have Los Mortis. A cool little map. I really like it because it, it just feels so different. Like in a little Mexican town, which is pretty much what it is. Mexican inspired. And it looks pretty damn awesome. And I quite like it. <laughs> Better than Overwatch by the look of it. Yay. But still, it looks pre pretty damn awesome. And a job well done. And I just like the little details of the pumpkins and the decorations. Of how it really goes well together. Like I say, I love creativity. And I love seeing these little creative maps. Because hey, Screen Fortress is that time where you could just go wacky. And it's perfect. At number two is Hades. A, if I remember right, either a Roman or Greek looking map. I think it's Roman. I might be wrong, but it looks pretty damn cool. I mean, look at this. It looks bloody awesome. It definitely has that middle age feel. And I can imagine this with a bunch of demo knights running around with blooming swords, huntsman snipers. It's just, this is pretty awesome. And it fits the whole Halloween aesthetic as well, because even in Halloween, haunted museums and haunted sites could also be the scariest. Also the gift shop. You gotta love the gift shop. <laughs> I would buy a shirt with that with a dollar. But yes. And at number one is Graveyard. If I remember rightly, this is a pre-existing map, one of the arena maps that Valve used to play, a, well, used to have. And it's a Halloween version. And crazy shit happens, and I love when wacky crazy things happen in a Halloween map. As you can see, players already testing it in our latest photo operation. No one was died in the making of this map. Well, that's what I heard from the creator. I don't know if it's true. But still, it looks pretty damn cool, and I'd like to see Arena to be returned. I miss Arena. We did have the two, that Arena invasion map. Please, Valve. But still, looks pretty damn good, and very impressive in Halloween. Now it's five Halloween maps. I know I haven't been uploading much, I mean, I've been streaming, but I'm going to try and work on that sandwich collab video if I got the time. But, with that said, I will see you all later. Be safe.